All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Dark Cloud 2 Let's Play. And if you guys missed out during the last one, we are finally now back here over at today because we need to go and find one of the, I want to say four of the different uh, type of gems that we have to go and search for. I believe the Earth Gem is here within today that we do have to go and grab. Uh, now, I did tell you guys that I was going to do uh, that a split path to open up the other way for it, and that has already been completed. So now we can go and, cut, well, basically go and start our way uh, with more of the different uh, missions that are going to be happening uh, throughout our time within the uh, halfway margin of uh, well of the whole thing that's going on with the Rainbow Butterfly Woods. Now if you guys do recall from the last episode uh, when we went to that special area we now do have a thing all the way up here known as the Star Key that Elena went and helped us out for a little bit and uh, now we could be able to go and use that. We could go and head into any of the other different split paths uh, from the other different areas that we've been to before open that up and we could go and continue onwards uh, throughout our time with uh, some of the other different places uh but for right now uh i did do a little bit of some uh post uh type of uh practicing before getting into this episode so i do kind of know a little bit of some of the new enemies that are going to be happening around out here uh, but i did kind of just restart everything all up again so i could uh, be able to go and uh be able to just go and just tell you guys exactly everything that's been going on uh for here but if you guys do know we do have pal on our team and uh, we can finally be able to go and use pal for that one particular reason on why we're going to be needing to go and find with all these different uh fairy saws and all these other things that we could go and uh help uh, we well, will help ourselves out here throughout uh this uh well throughout this dungeon mission and the rest of the other ones that are going to be moving forward and I have to say, having POW on your team is really nice uh, just for this one particular reason so that we don't have to go constantly just mindlessly walking around and just trying to find out where this area is going to be. Now, here we go. Now, again, I'll kind of go and show you guys exactly everything that is happening here uh, for uh, for POW so that if you guys uh, are new to Dark Cloud 2. Uh, so just go into the view statuses here. And here is POW. So POW can well basically help you out with your map display. So you don't even need to even worry about getting a dungeon map. So it already kind of has like the full map already there for you for for the access um it also goes and detects mimics as well so if you ever do go and meet up with a chest and it feels a little bit suspicious pal will kind of notify you about that and then also too it also detects that with the gate key as well and what will happen is is that if you guys remember with those like um i want to say with those like distortion areas normally they would be blinking and that is what is going to be happening around out here as well too with the enemies is that if there's something blinking and it feels a little bit something off then Pal will notify you exactly where this gate key is going to be. And I have to say, Pal is an awesome character. I want to say, just for this game alone. Because there's not really too many uh, assistant characters that are all that too great. But Pal is really nice for that one particular reason. So we're going to go and smash this down, down. Get ourselves with... Aw, oh, got some extra bread. But we got ourselves a brand new guy. These are the uh, those tornado enemies. But this time they do have a brand new form out here. So, uh... Yeah, you can still go find more wind elements. And also, here are the brand new plants as well, too, in Sedate. Because if you guys remember from before, we kind of saw an annoying uh, poison type of flower. Well, now we get to see these guys' actual true form out here, the Cursed Rose. And not only that, but there is also another brand new enemy known as the Zuckies out here. And uh, these guys can do some pretty insane amount of damage if you're not too careful. So because they will like uh cut your health down to like almost half which that's pretty scary if i have to say so but here it is we got ourselves with one of the uh next proceedings of the next area that's going to happen but we do need a fairy saw beforehand before we can even go and do anything about it right now oh no well run away from that <laughs> there is way too many uh enemies here in this part there we go and let's go and make sure that we knock you out of out, out of here as well too. Perfect. Nice. Just getting all these good stuff. Oh, wait, what the heck? I just saw something here. Ah, there's the chest. Oh, so here's something right here. So, uh, Pal will basically say that uh, he's something that there's something that smells a little bit funny with this chest. So, we're not going to open it. So, we're going to say no. Unless if you want to go and do like the speed of stuff or whatnot to go and knock out with all the different enemies. So, you go and feel, uh, uh, well, go over here. Oh, and he also kind of knows that there's also another one out here as well, too. Okay. Well, we're going to head down through the bottom part here first. And we'll kind of see what else that we got. It's too bad that, like, Pal doesn't have, like, the, uh, the, uh, I want to say, like, that magic crystal or whatever type of, uh, other item that kind of, like, shows out where all the, uh, other different, like, items are around out here. 
It's too bad that he doesn't have that type of special power as well, too, because that would have been pretty nice. Oh, wait, hold on. Ah, looks like we got ourselves with two different stuff. So let's go and knock out with the curse roads first. We already know exactly where the gate key is going to be. So if you guys do see that blinking little light that's up ahead up there. So we're going to go and just grab it with the EXP for right now. And I guess we'll kind of just do a little bit of a circle around. Well, not really as a circle, I guess. Oh, no. Whoa, what the heck? Is he, like, throwing, like, like rocks or something at me? What the heck is going on with that, man? I guess more like a semicircle, I guess. Because now we have to go and pick up with the Geostone and then just go right around up into the top part. And that would uh, get us ourselves with the, uh, with the gate key that's just up ahead. Here we are. Oh, hold on. Let me just go and switch that around. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, buddy. There we go. He's already gone. Thank you. And we got the fairy saw. All thanks to pal. Okay. So let's just go and keep on moving forth. We already know exactly where we do need to go and head on out from. Now, I don't know how many... Uh, I don't know uh, how many like level missions I'm going to do out here. I may probably just maybe do two. But if we can, like, try to get all of these guys, like, all finished and done with, like, pretty fast, just because since we do have POW out here, we could just go and nail out every single other type of mission that's going to be here. So let's go and uh, throw this on and down for this time. Should be able to find the fairy sauce somewhere around out here. There it is. Now, unfortunately, uh, since we do have this fairy saw, we can't really go and uh, use our right pod to walk on a cross. So we have to go and get ourselves off this right pod for the time being. There you go. Now let's proceed to that next floor. And then I wonder if there's like maybe like a little checkpoint or something like in between. Clear finish without healing. Oh, nice. We got ourselves another metal. Now, always, too, if you do ever get yourself with any type of medals, always go and take them back to the mayor, because I don't know if that will kind of help out with, like, different rewards or whatnot, but uh, something rare is here. So, unfortunately, this does seem like an area that we can't really go and use Monica for. So, however, we'll still be able to go and use our good old pal uh, Max out here for the right pod damage that's going to happen, which everything should be nice and easy since we do have pal. We should be able to just clear this area, no problem at all whatsoever. Yep, so we already know that we're on a blue seal right now. So let's do it. Okay, so let's switch on over here to our right pod, and let's go for it. It's pretty nice that they already kind of, like, give you the dungeon map, like, uh, area with everything that's here right at the beginning of the get-go. Like, once you have pal, which is pretty handy. Oh, a sylph. Now, I think we see these guys from before. Oh, man. Ouch, they did a lot of damage right there, man. I need to go and talk back to Cedric at some point. That did a chunk of my damage. That's just annoying. That's a pain in the neck. Why do we have all these annoying flying enemies up in here? That's gonna just do like so much damage to me. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you. Wow, that was way too close for comfort there. These guys. Come on now. No, 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 no. Ah! Run away! Jeez. He was gonna like probably like shoot some sort of annoying beam or something at me at that point. But there we go. So we already know where the next room of that is going to be. So nothing is blinking here, but we do need to go and knock this guy out since he's kind of blocking our way. There we go, and he's already done finished with, so thank you very much, man. Okay, let's go and see what else we got. Wow, this is a big, huge, long corridor. Let's see. Oh, no. More? <sighs> Great. There we go, but at least he's gone. That is already taken care of. Got ourselves with another extra light element. I don't think at this point, I don't think we really do need to worry about any more, like, type of elements. Unless if you want to go for everything else, that's going to be 100% completed at this point. So we don't have to worry about anything right here, right now. So we can go and destroy him out of the way. I'm just going to go and basically just head down through this side. Just so that I don't have to worry about battling out that guy. Because he's not blinking at all. So it's easy enough for me. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got. Ooh, come on, let it be a clown. Nope. Oh, there's the map. This is basically completely useless at this point. Oh, there's the magic crystal, though. 
Okay, let's figure out where this is at now. Huh. Oh, no. Whoa. Literally showed up out of nowhere. Ouch. What the heck? Who else is around me? No. Uh, what the heck was that? Oh, it's this. Were you throwing something at me, man? That's not cool. Oh, maybe you were. There you go. Get out of here. What? Oh, it's one of those. Huh. Wow, that's a really hard enemy to go and spot out around out here, man. Okay, so I do see that there is a blinking thing that's up ahead. So we're getting close. So we'll have to be really careful now with those miniature enemies. Okay, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Just knock him out, knock him out, please. Ugh. Get out of here, you. Whoa. Miniature tree. No. Ugh. Okay, I think he's done. Give me that fairy saw. Oh, no. Uh, run away. Come on. There we go. He's gone. So what in the heck? Where is this geostone? Is there, like, no geostone here? All right, guys. And I'm back. And here we are. We're finally back over here at the, uh, over at the tree that we need to go and proceed through. So let's go and make sure that we go and grab out on this saw as quickly as we can. We'll cut it down. And then we'll be able to mosey on over to the next part. Now, I think what I'm going to probably have to do is kind of split this into two parts, though. Because I think what needs to happen here is that I do need to go ahead back over to Heimrida. Our right pod's a little bit low on the on the, on the the sad end right now. Because we do need to kind of get them all refueled back up at this point. Because uh, it was just, like, really annoying with all those annoying sylph enemies that were kind of lurking around out here. So we got ourselves a scary tree, huh? Okay. Well, we'll worry about that for next time. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, or subscribe. And, of course, uh, hopefully you guys go and check out Pokemon XD as well. And, peace.